Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I want to talk to you about the mindset <clears throat> and why I'm a health and mindset coach. I want to talk to you about how to get a better, not only mindset, but more willpower. We call it willpower. I want to talk to you about that exact same thing and why it is so important to your healing. Okay, my name is Hilda Larson. I'm a health and mindset coach. I am a detox specialist. I'm an author of three books from Health to Inspired, Know the Truth and Get Healthy, and No More Bullshit. I'm also a speaker, and most of all, I'm a life enthusiast. So enthusiastic about all of our health because I'm enthusiastic about this earth. I'm enthusiastic about all beings. So I want us to walk compassionately. I want us to take care of ourselves first because only then can we elevate and go into this new fantastic energy that is going to operate from love because what i see is that right now we're operating from fear we're operating from greed and because we're operating from our mind and this is interesting because we're talking about the mindset now i know a lot of teachers out there are talking about the mindset and when in reality what we're really teaching is mindlessness because the mind is simply a tool and your mind is not what you need to get better or to feel better or to have a better life. That is just a thought that you're thinking. That it all has to do with your mind. Now, when someone has a strong mindset, that is a big tricky thing because that means more obstruction. Someone once said to me, every thought in this obstruction is an obstruction and that really hit me home. I'm thinking, yes, it is. Every thought that comes into us is an obstruction. And I'm not talking about the times where you want to, you know, plan your vacation to Hawaii and you're going to buy the ticket. Of course, you're going to use your mind to find the best ticket, you know, accommodations and every, you know, anything you want to do. That's when you're using it as a tool. The same way you're going to use your legs if you want to walk anywhere. You're going to use your arms if you want to eat. You're going to use your teeth, you know, and your chewing ability if you want to chew some food. That's how we should use our mind. But to be in the now moment and to operate from love doesn't have anything to do with the mind. So we need to get out of the notion that we need to use our mind because there's a lot of thinking, you know, also we're talking about mind over matter, which to me, in fact, it shouldn't be mind over matter. It should be awareness over matter. It should be consciousness over matter because everything comes from a heart energy. Everything comes from a vibration, not a word. A thought is, is, is in a verbal form. It is a technical brain communication that is trained and mostly comes from the subconscious mind, not the awareness. Your intuition comes from awareness. So what does this have to do with your healing? What does this have to do with getting better? What does it have to do with me and eating raw food and, and overcoming the same things that I do, did autoimmune, Lyme's, ulcers, anxiety, depression. Not wanting to get up in the morning, not knowing how to get up in the morning. People always tell me, well, I don't have the willpower that you did or do. Well, I have to, you know, recognize and honestly say that, yeah, I see that there are a lot of different mindsets out there and a lot of different people. Of course, I work with all of you or I mean, many of you and from all different walks of life with all different backgrounds. And the more traumatized you have been, the more locked you are in your mindset, the more knowledgeable you are, meaning the more education you have mentally, the more blockages you will have for change. It's natural. We're holding on to what we know. So the less we know, of course, the more open we are to new information. So when we have been studying mentally for so many years and validating the intellect as something really valuable, and I'm not saying it isn't, but in this context, when we're talking about health and regeneration, it is not important at all. That's not the type of intellect we're looking for. We're looking for the innate knowing and awareness, the wisdom that comes from nature, from source, from God, 
from the universe, whatever you want to call it, that's what we're looking for. And when the mind is set in its ways, it is so hard to change. I'm saying, ditch the mind. Don't go there thinking, now I have to think differently, think differently. Although that's a part of the process, it's not the solution. It's only the doorway. But you know what? The thing is, that getting in there is so much easier when you realize that you can change your diet slowly, slowly, and then declutter your pineal gland and you will open your awareness, you'll open your heart. You can see this from one of my testimonials just posted here on YouTube. How much more aware you become when you start walking towards nature in that way. You don't have to figure it out with your brain. You don't have to figure it out with your intellect. All you have to do is to be open to the new awareness that you're going to experience because that's what a different vibration will feel like. I'm not saying we have getting higher vibrations or lower vibrations because that could seem like we're trying to divide into different groups, which we aren't, but you'll have a different set of vibrations. You'll have a different energy about you that will attract a different energy. You'll attract more positivity when you are created from more positivity, meaning your cells have access to more high energetic food and nutrients. When you have less dense mucus, acids, parasites, fungus within your body, this makes sense, right? And then we forget the almost most important thing of all, what about the mindset and the willpower, as we call it? Well, a willpower has nothing to do with the mind. Willpower is a soul. Willpower is your inner being coming through, even when you didn't even know where that power came from. It's like, do you know when you've heard stories about parents where their child has been locked under a car or something, you know, they're stuck and they lift literally a whole car or this amazing piece of rock that would not be possible if you would intellectually look at it and evaluate it. But that power, that strength, that came from, you know, from somewhere that is greater than us. And willpower is a little bit of that. Although you can mentally train yourself to be diligent and to be persistent, that willpower is a part of your soul and everybody has it. And this is the core of this video. Why do some access it so easily and some not? Because some are more in tuned with their soul being and some are not. Meaning when you start walking with me, where we cleanse you, your whole body, when we step by step easily takes away what is holding you down. You will awaken to that inner power. It will show itself for you. It's not something that you gained or that someone gave to you. It's something that you were able to then access, to have access to, to see come forth. And I see a lot of numbing down right now from parasites. They're real. Fungus, real. All these critters, real. Are they always a part of us? Yes, they are. But we are an overburdened people because we've been living on all that crap that is just creating the mucus and creating the environment that they thrive in. Thrive. They're not going to give it up easily. So they're messing with our brain. They're messing with our cravings. They're messing with our complete system. Now, if you're struggling with symptoms of depression, anxiety, you know, then of course, it's easy to feel disempowered, to feel less than with a great willpower, but they're not really connected because you have an amazing willpower. And what I am offering you and what a lot of people are offering now is to just show you the way to how you can access that. I want you to access 
that which you see as willpower so that you can get what you want to get and go where you want to go. And it's nothing you need to figure out. It's something you need to unlock within yourself. And I want to give you a tip to get started. I want you to look at your triggers. And I've talked about that in a previous video, but I'm going to look at it now a little bit differently. I want you to look at your triggers. I want you to look at the reasons that is holding you back because you all have one. And I don't know if there's a reason I've, I've heard, you know, I, I have not heard yet. My reason why I wasn't doing what I thought I should do. See, I had an amazing willpower once I was kicked to the ground, once I could not move, once I was so sick. I was in and out of hospitals. I, I still didn't get it. I had to give up my business. I had two small children. I had a house. I had a cottage. I had two cars. I, you know, the business. I still didn't get it. I had so many symptoms. I was, I was living on pure will, will to hold on to what was. It wasn't even when I stopped everything and thought, I don't know how to do this. I kept on going to university. I kept on pushing myself into new stressful situations. Why? Because I thought I had to achieve. I thought I had to do something all the time so that I didn't have to listen to what I needed to do because I didn't want to do what I needed to do. I was a smoker. I was a drinker. I was a cheese doodle lover. I, I was addicted to Diet Coke. My breakfast was two eggs, a cigarette, and a cup of coffee for years. That was me. I loved it. My life was good. I had fun. It was just I didn't feel that good, but I didn't want to see the connection. I didn't want the connection. So it was not that I didn't have the willpower. I didn't want the connection to be. I didn't want this to be true. I didn't want to invest what needed to be invested. I didn't want to realize it. I didn't want to acknowledge it. And I think that might be some of you. So look at what's holding you back, if anything. Why aren't you jumping on? Why aren't you doing better every day? Why aren't you thriving and feeling freaking amazing when you know that there is a way that that can happen? What are you telling yourself? What's your reason? Look at that reason, write it down and see how many reasons you can come up with. And what if I tell you they're all bullshit? And that's self-sabotage. This is all you. You decided that. You decided that you just wanted to stay. You did that with your mind. That's your mindset. Now, how do you change that? Stillness. You, you start by becoming more still at one end, meaning just give it 15 minutes a day and just sit there and be still and think of nothing. Just monitor your thoughts. Just let them float by and then just be still. Just access that stillness within you and connect it to your heart because you want to get to the heart. So you can't mind yourself through this. You have to heart yourself through this. You have to be open to see the guidance and to see the possibilities that you are. You're always the solution and you're never a victim ever. Now self-sabotage is a great, great topic and it is all of the mind. And there you see, you can't think of your way to health. You can only feel it. You can feel your way. You can be guided and you can listen. It's not about talking. It's about receiving. It's about listening. It's about allowing. It's not about chasing. It's not about going after, trying, trying, falling off, trying. It's about allowing. It's about surrendering, leaving the mind. No more mind chatting and talking. And I know a lot of out there. I used to be one of them. I had a monkey mind. That's what I call it, a monkey mind. And if you have anything like anxiety, you'll have a monkey mind. So either, you know, more important for you to still be still because that's where your solution is. Now I am a strong believer in detoxification and I do not divide the bodies of the body. I mean, we have a physical, we have a mental, we have spiritual. We have an emotional body. And once you cleanse out the body of all the crap that's there, you're going to be connected to all the bodies. You're going to feel the emotional detoxification. You're going to feel all the releases. You're going to feel the mental blocks come up. It's going to challenge you. 
because you're going to change at the core or to put it a better way you're going to be more of who you are because that's really what this is about it's about you becoming the beautiful you that you are so that you can express this to the world authentically creatively creatively because you have a gift and it needs to be given and only when we start giving that gift we will be truly happy and find our passion and purpose and little did I know that this would be mine. So at the end of this video, I want just to throw in a couple of things that's new at my end, because I am a happy creator. I always create. I love making videos, but I always love, you know, creating programs. So I have a new program out, which is called um, the Complete Reset and Detoxification Program. It's a 16 weeks, you know, step-by-step, -step, easy to follow program. All you need to do is sign up and I'll show you through 16 weeks of content sent to you right into your inbox. You just follow and you completely reset and transform in 16 weeks. That's pretty amazing, huh? Link below. The second is I made a webinar. Yay, for the first time. So if you want to watch my first webinar, it is officially called How to Detoxify the Right Way. Click the link below. Let me know how you feel. I'm really excited about it. And of course, there's always this amazing offer at the end, which, you know, all webinars have and I'm not gonna, you know, so it's linked to the 16 week uh, program. So don't miss out on that. And there's even, I think I even put some gifts in there just from just for signing up. So you don't even have to do anything. Just sign up for the webinar and, uh, and you'll get a gift. And um, until we speak again, be aware of your mind and try to be more mindless than mindful. Because getting out of the mind is the same as getting into the now. When you get into the now moment, the brain shuts up and you're just there. Your awareness, you're watching, you're taking in. It's colors, it's vibrancy, it's sound, it's smell. And in that space, everything is good. So no matter where you are right now, I want to I wanna challenge you to do this. More of that, more of that, and you're opening your heart space. So you're inviting in more healing capacity for your heart. And then always change your diet for the better. If you're not on a raw food diet already, this is, this is what I'm preaching, kind of, you know. You need to change your diet to raw living food. Why? Right? Because it's what we're designed to eat. And until we go back to that, we're going to suffer. Pain. I had so much pain. I was told I could never walk again regularly. Like, never. I'm traveling the world right now. Autoimmune doesn't exist in the sense that we think it does. It's just, we're talking about labels. We're taking back our power through leaving the mind, leaving the intellect in the sense that we think we have to be smarter than nature because we really can't. Have you ever looked at a dandelion trying to get through the asphalt? And then it gets through the asphalt and then you're looking at it and you're like, this is impossible. Very, very possible, but not for the intellect. We're so much grander. You're just so freaking amazing. And I want you to shine. So thank you for watching this video. We'll talk again soon. Namaste. Bye.